Hi guys, after I showed my single chunk slime farm design, I got a few requests to adjust it for a multi-chunk system. So I made two versions, I made a 2x2 two two chunk slime farm and a 1x6 chunk slime farm. In case of the 2x2 two two chunk slime farm, I thought it would be a nice idea to put the iron golems in the middle. So with just 5 iron golems we can cover a huge amount of spawning spaces. It has a slight disadvantage that we couldn't use the full slime chunks, so we had to sacrifice uh, the corners here, but overall uh, the rates are really good. So as you can see at the bottom there are always a ton of slimes at once, so the magma floor couldn't even keep up, so I had to extend the magma floor even, just to get rid of all the slimes fast enough. The farm yields 33,500 slime balls per hour in perfect perimeter conditions, on hard difficulty and after you've spent a few days in your Minecraft world. I made a few slight adjustments, for example the iron golems stand on iron trapdoors, so they stand a little bit higher so they could be seen uh, from every spawning layer. So here those um, slimes would look at always look at the head of, of the golem and you can see him from every spot. And the same goes uh, for this layer here, so they just have to look a little bit down. If I put on F3 and B, we can see the eye level of the golem. Like in a single chunk slime farm, hopper minecarts below the magma blocks would pick up the drops. Then I also added an unloading system and all you gotta do is hook up this water stream to your storage system afterwards. Then what's also noteworthy is that you don't need to remove any bedrock. So this is um, the normal, the highest layer where bedrock would normally regenerate. Just put a lot of sea lanterns there uh, in creative mode and bedrock blocks here so no other mobs can spawn. Um, but you won't have any problems uh, with the height level. I always get asked a lot what's the best AFK spot and how large has my perimeter to be. So in this world I made a minimum size perimeter which still enables maximum rates. So the AFK spot would be at Y130 and I put my second account there. And yeah, it's so high, so still in reach of every spawning spot, um, but everything outside would immediately despawn. So mobs can spawn within 17 by 17 chunks around the center ch chunk around the player, but if they're more than 128 blocks away from the player, they would instantly despawn. So you can see all the mobs spawning and they would also instantly despawn. I'm in game on 3, that's why I can observe that. Um, so that's really the minimum size um, to enable the maximum rates. In contrast to the single chunk slime farm, I didn't put the extra roof of 5 blocks thick around the farm, because it just makes a small difference for a few hundred drops per hour. But all the other design principles still apply, so you need to remove every opaque block uh, above your farm. So here the AFK spot is made out of glass blocks, so it doesn't decrease the spawning attempts. Here we are in another world, I found a 1x6 slime chunk strip and I thought it would be a good idea to use that for a slime farm. So here the rates are even better, just look at all those slime spawning, it's really incredible and you would get 61,000 slime balls per hour with this farm. So all I did here is really clone a few of my single chunk farms together um, and the only change I made is sacrificed again a few of those spawning spots here and put uh, slime uh, magma blocks there instead, um, so the slimes are killed faster. So here not the amount of spawning space is a limiting factor, but the killing speed. Here I removed a lot of blocks with MC Edit, so you can watch the farm running in game mode 1 without the second account, and the optimal AFK spot is 24 blocks away from the spawning layers, but within 128 blocks there are no spawning spaces outside uh, of the, out of the farm. So I hope this answers the questions for the optimal AFK spot. The 1x6 slime chunk configuration is quite rare, so in case you don't find one you could also build 6 single chunk slime farms instead and you would get similar rates. But this would require a little bit more effort to build. In case you want even more slime balls per hour, building a 7th or an 8th farm would just give a small boost in production. So in case you want to squeeze every drop out of a perimeter, I would recommend to build a specialized slime farm uh, where the killing speed is higher. We already have a few concepts and I uh, want to show it within a few weeks. If you want to build the 1x6 or the 2x2 slime chunk farm, you can check the world downloads. Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day. Bye bye.